Hi, hello. So today we're going to do an experiment. Uh, we're going to try to to create a 3D something out of an image, right, or a photo. So we're going to do this, uh, turning one photo into a depth map. Oops, depth map, right? And we're going to do this, this step from photo to death map with uh, machine learning, right? Using one um, algorithm that's called uh, MIDAS, which is monocular depth estimation, meaning that from one image, one, one point of view, it can recreate the, the, the death map, the, the 3D. So a little bit of context, what's a death map? That's this. It's a... Uh, it's, uh, representation of depth through um, a scale of colors, like in this in a gray scale, right? So if we take something like this, for example, what is um, closer to the camera is white and what's uh, farther is, is black. So then this, if you take it into a 3D application, then you can use it either to, to create volume, to create the shape, or, or for example, if you, if you do this in video and you bring it to a to a to a software, you could apply depth of field in in into the video, also in into the image. So that's a very nice um, tool that's out there. It's a it's a new toy. So so we're gonna try to to play with it. So um, here is it. It's in this in this uh, page. It's made by. I want to test it. I tested some months ago with uh, version one. Now, in November two thousand twenty, was released uh, the version two. So let's let's see. Uh, that's a bit. That's what it does. Uh, next, next, next. Right. So basically, it can take one image and turn it into a in this depth estimation. Right here. The first thing that we could do is uh, well the easy way the easy way is use a, a, a package a software or solution that already have this so we don't need to to install all the libraries and and do it ourselves so for example runway um, which is this uh, right is this application it that it uh, compiles, it has different models already pre prepared for you to use, and you can use them remotely. So it's um, it's good. Um, for example, here if we if we take the models and we say we look for the depth. Yep, we have it here. That's the it's the same as as we saw before. Amidas. Um, we add it to our workshop, to a workplace, and here this can work either with a with a camera or or an input, right? So input is a is a file or something. So let's look for something to turn into 3D. What about a cat? Yes, no. <laughs> yes, this is this little cat. Not that little, but it's a cat. Okay, so once we, we have this here, that's the, in this side, we have the, the properties of the image. We know that's the model that is uh, loaded and we run it and done. So, so now we have this, what we saw, what we saw here as, as an idea, as a, as a, as a, proof of concept as a, as a research, as a paper. So now we already have it here as a, as a implemented piece of um, process. Right? So we have this, this cat here, we just save it. Let me save it. Where are we gonna save all these things? Live sessions, okay, hello there. Good. So, so once we have, uh, let me stop it. So, one thing, for example, with this with this runway is that um, you can run it locally, but in in CPU, 
if you are in in Linux, you can use it with GPU, but with CPU, you can you can run it. So you just need to download download the model locally and 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 use Docker, and you are good to go. Um, so runway is super nice, but every time that you hit the 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 run button, is like a using your your credit card right so it's a tiny thing but um, it kind of put a price to experimentation okay so so we did it right so <laughs> done now we we have we have our our cat here it's quite nice right so so that's that's exactly what what this thing does um, let me try to find this guy so here we have these this, this two cats and then what what we did it's nice because it, it really understands the volume of, of the image. Right? It understands that the one paw is in front of the other, one leg, uh, here the chin. So so it's good. So now once once we have this, for example, if we if we bring this to 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 one uh, graphic applications, we could we could use this this grayscale to use it as a mask to apply some filter like like a blur to make a um, depth of field, or we can bring it to a to a three D application to to make some composition in in three D. But first, um, what let's try to run this locally, right? So what to see what what do we need to to run it locally? So let me stop this one. Then, let's say AI and networks. Networks meet us. Okay. So, um, launch terminal, make it big to see a bit more. That's my eye side size. But, uh, and let's read what we need to run this thing. Let me see. Do we need? We need. We need. We need. We need all these things. So then we need to launch our environment. Let's say okay. Download the model weights. Okay. So we copy the link. Download this. Okay. More and this one. So now what we need to do is we need to put something on in the input folder, which I already put. Um, and once we run this thing, we're going to have it on the output folder. OK, first error. That's good. Something to dig. Yes. Now, okay. So, so that was a bit uh, of a little shit. Good. Okay. So now we have it up and running. Cool. So then this generated something like. Let me see. In the output. Good. These two cats. Perfect. This and this. Nice. Let me see this compared to the one, the one generated by Runway. Okay. E now we have a system locally that that can do that. So so it's good. So this means that if we add whatever we want here. So let's say lots of images, right? Let's see, let's see what generates this, this. Okay, let's wait. Good. So we have all the images here, and we want to see the output. We run it again. 
and we see it, it's quite fast. Huh? Hey, nice. Got another one. The space, very nice. People, people, space, wow. Wow. Space is beautiful. The space is very nice. The space is very nice. The home is very nice also. Okay, so once we have something something like this and we wanna turn it into into 3D, then we have different options. One one nice way to do is uh, we can launch Blender. We have it here. Okay, full screen. And let's see. So here, here we have it with a little bit of mistake. Forest. Yeah. So that's our that's our blender, and what we want to do is get rid of this, and then we want to add an image. Image, image as plane, and what we want to add is exactly, let's say. Yeah, this is straight. Let's move. Yeah, let's move this in the here depth. We call it a street, and then we go and collect this street also. Good. So now we have both. We have this and this, this and this, this and this. Good. So we drop this image here, which um, yeah. We use this one. So now what we have here is a this image in black and white that is just like a it's just a plane, right? So it's it's a plane, and once we what we want to do is to create a material to deform this object with its uh, with depth, right? So there's there's different ways to to do that. So one thing would be, let's say we let's uh, okay, yeah, let's do this. This material, just let's disconnect this one from here, right? And we have it like a plain a plain material. Right, a plain object. So first thing we need to do is uh, this guy. We need to add it some uh, some subdivision to have more information on the on the object itself. So we want it simple. We want it just to to multiply and yeah, five five. Right. So here we can see. What we no, we cannot see what we are doing because all this procedural, but um, we are doing it right. So once we have this thing, we wanted to add another thing which is called uh, displacement. Displace, and then displace we choose um, we choose the the image that we want, which is this one. This one? No, it's not this one. It's this one, right? So now we see that this is um, 
voice in stereo. Okay, now now it start starts to get a a little bit. So now here, if we in this displacement, in this subdivision, we add more subdivision. We see that we're getting more and more detail. But then things get more computationally expensive, right? So, but here, that's what we just did: is to create a little scene. Good. So what we need to do now, for example, in this in this displacement, is uh, exaggerate it. No, add it, add it a bit more. Mid level, we put it at zero because that's where we want it to start, and then we can extend it more. So here, the thing is that we need more information, right? But if suddenly we add here the um, the image that that we it's nice, huh? Let's render this. It's nice. It's nice. Scale the ground, and bring this a bit to the bottom. So if now, for example, we add a, what's that? So that's, that's what we got. So this is one, one way to do it, which is adding this, this subdivision. And the other way to do it, um, which we can maybe duplicate this, so another way to do this so is is um, okay, duplicate this material street depth no depth. So is to to don't have displacement as a modifier, to don't have uh, this subdivision mm, like this. And use an adaptive subdivision. So we go to experimental. And this one, we tell it that we want our subdivision to be, please, our subdivision to be adaptive. And the dicing a scale, let's say 0.1. And this is going to subdivide as needed. And now we create a material that includes this um, it includes a displacement a displacement the displacement is one image which is this one right let me see yes this image we want this image to go to high, and we call it that it's a, a non-color data, and then we plug this to the displacement, right? And this here already already can see some detail. Right? So now we're gonna tweak this thing. Okay, mid mid level is where where this starts, which is zero. I want it at zero, and the scale, let's say five, what happens? I think we need to go negative to do the same as we did before. So minus 10. No, 
need to go positive, so 20. All right, and one important thing is that in here in, in the material, we need to tell it that the displacement is uh, displacement, so bump and displacement, both. And here, it's a bit this crazy, exaggerated, one. Okay, so now, now we are using the same data, but because it's generating triangles on the fly, you know, generating the triangles where, where we want them, the quality of this um, geometry is nicer. So that's a super easy way to create this diorama, right? So turn one image, this could be a person, could be something else, into a more surrounding thing, right? So let's put two to make it more depth. And now you are inside 1.5. So I, I prefer more this this thing. It's more computationally intensive, but you know that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> so so here again, if we if we go and and we want to plug this the op the 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 color in it, we can. And now we have our thing that okay. Let's try an experiment. Let's make it night time so we go to our environment go to the world and I say that it's night time right and okay now we don't have light and we only have this top light here right so make it smaller So here is our environment, and we can see now that if we move this light in X, we can see all the shadows creating, which is quite beautiful. Right. So we just created this space. Looks very nice from outside, but and of course, I mean you do you could do anything here, no? So it's it's up to your creative intention. But um, let me see. Whoa. I really like the the style when it's with um without without color, right? So because so we remove the color of this guy here. And we add some point two. You have this CD of a skin. Quite disgusting. Off. Okay, so so that's what we did. But I would like to find a nicer way to pack or present these things. Let me get rid of this. Out of memory, por favor. Okay, now. No, I don't like it. So, half pixel, no. Oh, okay, okay, I understand. This is per pixel, so one pixel, okay. Good, render. 
render, render nice, 100%, nice, huh? And now that we have this, Okay, so this um, sums up uh, a bit of everything. What we managed to do has been to take this uh, this tool, this this um, monocular depth estimation, make it run in first in runway as a as a quick as a quick uh, test to see how it was working, and then we managed to have it running in locally in our in our machine. This means that we can put as many images as we want and then convert them into these depth maps and once we have these depth maps then we can bring them into into 3d and use them as a as as, as something to generate shapes like what we see here right so that's uh, that's this one exactly so we went from this this right? so we've been able to go from one image to generate the depth map and then use it in, in 3D. Good, hope you like it, bye.